Hey guys, it's a Jedi's point of view, and today we're going to be talking about my theory for the Ahsoka show, and it is rumored to be only one season long, so one season packed full of knowledge and lore and explanations. That's all I am going to say for now, but don't forget to like and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. I have a new subscription goal. It's going to be 50 subs in the next 70 days. So we're at 19, so we're almost there already. Let's get it. Don't forget to subscribe. I know lots of you guys who watch the video aren't subbed already. And obviously, come back for more. Star Wars is just life, so get on in here. So before we get into this video, I... Honestly, have been so busy in the last couple of days and the uploads have not been consistent, but for a good, good reason, because now I have a player two in the world. So I have a little baby girl and obviously there's the bassinet right there in my room, you know, I got to make sure that she's sleeping well and we have everything all set up. It's been going smooth. Delivery was smooth and the wife's feeling great. She's starting to recover really well. And she had to go through cesarean section, but I've been there for her and I've just been fully focused on my two women. And I just can't wait for the rest of my life with these girls. And I just want to keep making some Star Wars content too, so I'm not going to stop. I, got, I can make time for everything. And I appreciate everybody for all the support. And let's just get right into this theory, yeah? So I'm just going to have a little bit of the Star Wars Rebels Ezra footage in the background here. Is honestly one of my favorite characters in Star Wars, and it's just the way his character arc developed over the four seasons was exponentially better than anything I've seen in uh, the sequel trilogy. But enough of that banter. Obviously, I like all Star Wars, and I just feel like the future of Star Wars, the Filoni verse, for the next however long, is going to heavily revolve around Ezra and Thrawn and Ahsoka and Mando and Grogu. Obviously we know that those like five people are going to be the most important people in the game. And right now, Ezra has been missing for six years, seven years, depending on how long the Mando season is at when we come back in season three and um, whenever Ahsoka starts. Because we know Ahsoka's still out there looking for Thrawn. And obviously she's looking for Ezra too. And I feel like Ezra could be a villain. He could be a bad guy to start. He could have lost his way. He already was losing his way at one point in the seasons. He had listened to Darth Maul a bit too much. He let the dark side kind of influence him. He put his energy into the holocron, the Sith holocron, and he learned some Sith shit while Kanan was kind of going through some stuff. And so there's been a lot of, of good... I guess hints for the Ahsoka show to show us who Ezra really could be. Ezra could be this anti-hero who has become evil now. Thrawn has kind of told him that, hey, come work with me. We can do this to save the galaxy. There's this crazy threat out there that's worse than the Empire and worse than the Republic, and we're going to need everybody to kind of stop them, and that's the Grisk Hegemony. I don't know much about them, but I'm finished the first Thrawn book now. I had it on the old audio book. So I finished that and it's very good. It is worth a listen. I not I'm not a huge fan of audiobooks. Never really used them before this okay. book, but What's it's Star Wars, so it sounded amazing. It had the Star Wars music in it, this like the sound effects from the blasters, the um what's it called the voices of all the heroes and uh, villains in it so it's pretty neat hearing thrawn actually kind of sound like thrawn even though it isn't the voice actor of thrawn but in my other video i covered uh, lars mickelson might be thrawn and that uh mena mahood might be thrawn or uh ezra not thrawn oh my gosh but i feel like those two are going to be huge players in the next couple years so their relationship between Ezra and Thrawn is going to definitely be explored in the Ahsoka show and then we're going to see more of Thrawn as the big bad guy sort of the Thanos of the universe in all the other shows they're going to all end up tying in together the Rangers of the New Republic the Mandalorian and Ahsoka maybe Ahsoka kind of will lead into it and then it'll finish in Mando and Rangers of the New Republic but I'm super excited for the future of Star Wars, even though everything right now is kind of negative in the universe, and in real world actually, the politics are getting involved in things, and people aren't letting them be who they are, you're being cancelled for what you say, and let me just say here, I'm not a huge fan of what happened to Gina Carano, but 
I understand Disney had every right to fire her for what she was posting because it's a political thing and you don't have to in the United States keep somebody hired for you if they receive some politically incorrect or politically controversial things you can just let them go it's a thing you can do in the States and probably in Canada too but I'm not too sure about that one. I haven't really come into that issue yet in Canada, but I'm sure it's coming. Canada is just a little baby America. They're just trying to be as close as they can to them. And I feel like Ezra has a lot of emotions still that he has not let go of. But he was he pulled the true Jedi move at the end. He sacrificed himself for the greater good of everyone. So it'd be kind of interesting to see him listening to Thrawn because he's again working for the greater good of everyone. Any sort of a a gray slash dark Jedi person. He's not a, a Sith or anything. He's just a dark side force user. And maybe he was the volunteer who lended some blood to the Empire and Mando for Grogu. Because there was a volunteer and there was the, the asset. So there's two people that were getting force blood from. So I'd be kind of neat if Thrawn had Ezra still and... They had been working together for the last like seven years to survive and then they obviously became sort of friends but uh, I don't know if I can say for certain but I'd like to think that Ezra is going to be dark side that's just one of my theories he's going to be maybe an anti-hero for the first little bit he'll be a, he'll be evil and or just a bad guy and then Ahsoka and everybody else in the shows are going to try to work to bring him back because there's rumors that Hera is going to be coming to Rangers of the New Republic so who knows but it's all just uh, it's fun and games here it's all smoke and ladders and freaking whatever you want to call it but I'm just shooting at the freaking wisp here and I feel like the next couple years in Star Wars are going to be some of the best Star Wars we've ever seen and I just can't wait for the Ahsoka show and I hope you guys enjoyed me rambling about Star Wars because that's all this video was, is just me rambling about the future of Star Wars. So don't forget to like the video, guys. And as always, may the Force be with you.